Okay, I'm John Turner, the owner of Turner Brothers, my son Michael. So my parents started in 1963. Uh, my dad bought one machine and was digging basements locally and then expanded um, from residential into commercial and industrial work. Oh, we've been here since uh, 1972, so what's that, uh, 52 years? Yeah, in Savage here. In 1963, uh, you know, the office was in the basement of the house. You're second generation. Right. Mike is kind of third. Mike, what do you do with, with the company right now? Uh, mostly estimating. A little bit of everything. Started out here, pressure washing equipment, helping the mechanic, and now into estimating. At peak capacity, how many people do you have working for you, working with you? Oh, in the last uh, number of years, 20 to 25. Kind of enough to fill the seats of all this nice equipment we're standing next to. Yes, so. yes. Um, we had mentioned earlier Turner Excavating, your Turner Brothers right now. So Turner Excavating, is that that's when your father owned it, correct? Yeah, when they started back in 63 with Turner Excavating, it evolved into Turner Brothers when my brother and I were, so, were running it together. Yeah, I guess growing up in a business, my whole my whole family, all my siblings, I'm the youngest of six. We, we all worked in the business at some point. My oldest brother and I, um, stuck with it, but yeah, it's something that I that I always felt I wanted to do, and uh, started out, you know, helping around the shop, helping mechanics, and then worked into uh, to field work and then office work, and kind of done everything at some point. All my first memory is uh, my dad rented a shop up in Bloomington and had a bunch of old equipment parked out back, and I went out and crawled around and got all full of dirt and grease, and uh, we were going somewhere that that wasn't. Good. Going to church. Got, got in area. trouble. Yeah, going to church or something. Got in trouble for getting all my clean clothes all dirty. Um, I guess my favorite part is is being able to drive through the community and see all the projects that we've worked on. We've worked on so many, so many buildings in the in the area. Just all the people that we've worked with through the years. You know, be it employees and customers and just relationships that you build. It's a relationship based business. Um, being with your customers and your employees, they they all need to be able to trust you. Make a payroll every Friday for 61 years. That's pretty good too. Um, probably the project that'll stick with me the most was a car dealership where we had to put uh, a bunch of geofoam blocks underneath the parking lot. And just the experience of learning about it and all the way to putting it in and filling back over it. That's probably the experience I'll remember the most. So you've been in business as a company, you said, since 1963? Yeah, so 61 years. 61 years. So you've seen a lot, you've done a lot. Moving into the next chapter of retirement, I'm sure. I think I think you got a cabin up north, right? Yeah, yeah. Hope Probably. to spend some time up spend there. Spend some time up there. Do a little fishing. A little fishing. Yeah, you like walleye fishing? or? Well, it's fishing? mostly northerns, but yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, as far as all your equipment, can you tell us a little bit about what, what we're going to be looking at here? Yeah, so a lot of late model cat and John Deere equipment and some other brands mixed in. Um, good equipment that you know we've taken care of sure. and has worked well for us. Is it the 750 that's got grade control? The 700 John Deere Dozer. Got, yeah, yeah that, it's got the smart grade with the built-in GPS yep, and that's, receivers. And that's all going with the machine. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's all built in so you don't have to put the yeah. receivers out on okay. the mast. John, all, all dirt work. What, what kind of work do you guys do outside of dirt work? Yeah, mainly dirt, dirt work for commercial buildings, um, some industrial, some residential, and uh, some demolition as well in the Twin City metro area here. You know, you, you've done dirt work site development. Is there a certain building that, you know, in town here in the Twin Cities that really posed a big challenge and was something different over the years of doing all this oh we've done a, just a lot of projects you know in the in the metro area a lot of the south metro we did a a really big uh, building in Shakopee a number of years ago 750,000 square feet it was a a, a big footprint building um, but we've done a lot of challenging things you know deep soil correction you know work at the river for the grain elevators things of that nature that were challenging and rewarding you did some snow plowing and stuff too yeah we we used to plow a lot of snow we still do a little bit why did you choose purple wave just on past experience that we've had, uh, both buying and selling, we've done both with Purple Wave. In fact, I think I saw a couple pieces around here that you bought that we'll be selling again. Yes, yes. Well, that'll be fun to see how that works out if you made money or or, or not yeah. <laughs> after time. Well, we got to use it, so. Uh, Purple Wave does a good job of gathering information, taking all the pictures, and uh, has us operate the machine so we can get some video and makes it a pretty easy process. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about your maintenance program? 
Yeah, so we have a, a on-staff mechanic and, and we maintain everything on the required schedules and take good care of everything so the equipment will last. The technology of the equipment has improved so much. You know, we went from pretty basic machinery to some pretty complex stuff now that, you know, with GPS grading and, and just the available features on equipment are incredible compared to, you know, even 20 or 30 years ago. Mike, can you talk to us a little bit about the, uh, the GPS that we have on the 700K? Yeah, so we have a, the 3D grade assist, there's 3D smart grade on the John Deere 700 dozer. It allows us to pair that with our Topcon GPS system to really accurately grade and save a lot of time on grading. And what kind of projects do you use that 700K on? Uh, primarily large commercial lots, but you know we have had some uh, residential lots where we've been able to use it and it's uh, been very efficient. You'll find excavators, dump trucks, dozers. They'll be listed online for auction with no reserve April 23rd at purplewave.com.